Pacific Ocean is so big that you can fit in itself. Russia, India, China, Australia, USA, Canada and all the remaining countries of the world. And you will still have as much of water left as it is in the Arctic Ocean. So Pacific is pretty big. So welcome back to another video guys. Now this is the 2D world map of the earth and we all have seen this map everywhere and it's been hardwired in our brains. Now there is a thing about this map. It's pretty good at one thing, fooling us and especially about the sizes. Now let's take Greenland for example. It looks pretty good, pretty massive sitting right at the top. Now let's bring it down right at the equator. Now this is the actual size of the Greenland which it, it changes, it changes the perspective. And this is the problem with this map because it's trying to depict a sphere on a 2D paper and that ain't easy. Now Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world and we all know that. And this map again isn't doing a very good job at showing us the massiveness of the real ocean. Now there might be few reasons behind it. One of it is probably that we cannot see the whole Pacific Ocean at continuously. Now continuously because the whole Pacific Ocean is divided. Half of it is on the left side and the other half is on the right side. Now with the globe, however, it is a completely different story. Land, 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 land. Hmm. What happened? Well, this is how the Pacific Ocean looks on a globe. Now let's just invert the globe and perform the same procedure again. Hmm. hmm. This is mind-blowing. It suddenly feels that there is a lot more water on earth now. Now this is true because the northern hemisphere has about 68% land and the remaining band is on the southern hemisphere which is the 32% and this is why it seems that the southern hemisphere is so empty and there is a lot more water there. Now our earth has this land surface area of about 148.9 million kilometers square while the Pacific Ocean in itself has a surface area of about 161.8 million kilometers squares, which is why we are able to fit in all the world's countries and still have some water left in the Pacific Ocean. It's insanely big. Now, to get a more vivid comparison, it is even able to fit the red planet, Mars in itself, because the planet only has a surface area of about 140 million kilometers square. It's insanely big. But to ask the question, why is Pacific Ocean so big? It seems absurd because it is equivalent of asking the question that why are all the countries shaped the way they are? Why are there seven continents? Why is the earth like this? Why is Antarctica below it? We really cannot know the answer of all these. Now, if you look at the map, the Pacific Ocean seems very empty because there isn't much of the land there except the famous Hawaii or and the other few islands. Ooh. But why is it so? Now our earth is divided into seven plate tectonics and the Pacific Ocean sits on the biggest of them, the Pacific plate. Now these plates are in constant interaction with each other and most of the time they collide with each other. And in fact this is how the Himalayas formed when the Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate 50 million years ago. Now there are different types of plate tectonic interactions. Now these plates might be converging or they might be diverging. But for the converging plates, one plate might end up getting beneath the other. Now this process is known as the subduction. Now there might be other interactions too like the obduction or the oleogenic belts. But subduction is the most preferred one and the most common. Now let's take a look at the Pacific plate. The northeastern side is the divergent boundary. In the middle of the eastern side is a transform boundary. The southeastern side is a divergent boundary. The southern side is also a divergent boundary with the Antarctic plate forming the Pacific Antarctic Ridge. In the southwest, the Pacific plate has a complex but generally convergent boundary with the Indo-Australian plate. In the northern side is also a convergent boundary subducting under the North American plate. Now overall, as you can see, the tectonic plate is a subducting plate and this means that there is a low elevation area, which means the water could be collected for over billions of years. Now as the Pacific plate is so large, this is why it seems very empty. 
Now, all of these islands which we see are primarily made by the volcanic activity. Now, this is why the land is so rare in the Pacific Ocean. Other land masses such as the Indonesian islands are created by the volcanic activity between the Pacific and the Indo-Australian plate. So, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit up, thumbs up and finally guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.